The Indians were in Milwaukee for some interleague baseball. They're off to a 5-2 and two start this season, and the Brewers are off to a 4-3 and three start on the year. And we are going to get this game underway. We're in Milwaukee, so we won't be playing with a DH today. The matchup on the mound is Dallas Keuchel versus Jimmy Nelson. And we're getting things started off early here in the bot or the top of the first inning, excuse me, with Jason Kipnis. He's going to line that one into left center. And with Kipnis, that's definitely going to be a double with his speed. He slides in safe. And then the next batter is Ben Revere, and he is going to hit that one out into right center field. Jason Kipnis is going for home, and he is just barely going to be tagged out. Great play by Jonathan Lucroy but it would not go to waste as Michael Brantley would be up to bat after that, and he would double, so three straight doubles by the Cleveland Indians, and they get one run out of it, but that would be all as they squandered the base runner in Jason Kipnis, and no one could drive Michael Brantley in. So we're going to see what they can do now. We're in the top of the fourth inning, a game that moved pretty slow. We got Brandon Moss, and he is going to line that one into right field for a single. And so we got a runner on here in the top of the fourth inning. It's a slow day for offense, as you can see. Jan Gomes is up now, and he's going to line that one into right center field. And that is going to get down for a base hit, a double. And Brandon Moss is going to have enough time to come around all the way to score. And it was a weak throw by the right fielder, Ryan Braun. So the Indians quickly have a 2-0 lead here. And now it's the bottom of the fifth. And Carlos Gomez is up to bat, and that one is smoked. An absolute moonshot. That's his third of the year, and it gives the Brewers one run closer than they already were. Now here, an inning later, they're back at the bat, and this is Scooter Jeanette, and he is just going to line that one into right field. Jason Kipnis had no chance at that, and so they have a runner on now here in the sixth inning. The next batter is Chris with a K Davis, and he's going to line that one up the middle, so we got two runners on now, first and second on back-to-back -back singles. Let's see if Keiko can work his way out of it. And now it's Jonathan Lucroy up to bat, and that one's going to be lined to the same exact spot. Ben Revere fields it in time to hold the second runner, but one run comes across, and it's a tie game now. It would stay that way until the top of the eighth when Michael Brantley delivers with another double, two doubles on the afternoon for the stud left fielder of the Cleveland Indians, their best hitter, and he's off to a hot start again this year as he is hitting 350 through the first seven games of the season, not counting this game. But entering play, he was hitting 350. And then a big hitter right here, Carlos Santana with a 3-2 count. He is going to deliver a base hit. And that is going to give the Indians the lead here late in this game. you got to wonder if the Brewers are even going to have a chance to come back from this one. The next batter after that, runners on the corners, Francisco Lindor. He gets the pitch from Brandon Kinsler, and he is going to line that one into right field. And so that's an insurance run for the Cleveland Indians. They now find themselves having a two-run lead here late in the game. And we'll see if Cody Allen can shut it down. 4 for 4 on save opportunities has not allowed a earned run yet this season. And we'll see if he can lock it down for number 5, make it perfect 5 of 5 on the season. And David Freeze would fly out with a runner in scoring position. That's going to do it. The Indians win 4 to 2 in interleague play. And they are going to move on to the rubber match of the series as they lost the first game. In the next episode of the Indians franchise, we are going to be taking on the Boston Red Sox in a rematch of last year's ALCS. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this highlight video, and we'll see you next time for more Indians baseball.